For member statements today, we will hear statements from the honourable members for the districts of Terra Nova, Ferryland, Harbour, Maine, Mount Pearl Southlands, Virginia Waters, Pleasantville, and St. John's East, Kitty Vitty. The honourable the member for Terra Nova. Mr. Speaker, I rise in this honourable house to recognize a former educator and community pioneer. Originally from Hickman's Harbour, Mr. George Martin moved to Clarenville to be principal of the former Horward Regional High School. Later, he became principal of Clarenville Integrated High School, a position he held until his retirement in 1988. I met Mr. Martin in 1980, and I saw him as a dedicated volunteer, being involved in numerous charities and local organizations, including the Clarenville Co-op Society and the Men's Softball League. For 26 years, as its chairperson, the George Martin Charity Golf Tournament raised in excess of $500,000 for the Discovery Healthcare Foundation. Sadly, at the age of 86, Mr. Martin passed away on November 4, 2017. I think George, George's neighbor, Victoria Bess, sums it up best when she said, George is one of those great humans that didn't just make the people around him feel better, but hugely impacted his whole community, province, and made the world a better place. I ask all honourable members to join me in recognizing the passing of a community icon, mentor and educator, Mr. George Martin. The Honourable the Member for the District of Fairland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I stand to recognize a group of male athletes from, say, Kevin's Junior High who won the Junior High School Soccer Championship for the Eastern District on October 30, 2017. The accomplishment of these young people was heightened by the fact that the team consists of many underage players whose contribution helped in the championship despite playing against many older players from much larger school populations. This is the second soccer banner for the school, which reflects growing soccer program for the region. I would also like to congratulate and recognize Coach Charlie Simmons, who has been running a soccer program in the Ghouls for almost 20 years. This was indeed a very proud moment for players, coaches, parents, students, and friends. The youth started playing soccer with the Metropolitan United Football Club, formerly called Ghouls Kickers Soccer Association. For several years, this club has operated in the Ghouls. This club has complemented the youth's involvement in their school soccer and is an integral part of the community, and no doubt we will see more soccer success for both boys and girls teams over the next few years. Mr. Speaker, I ask all members of this House to join me in congratulating St. Kevin's Junior High School soccer team for their outstanding accomplishment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd also like to welcome in the, uh, in the public gallery today Pastor Crane and his wife uh, Karen, Kathy, who are joining us here for a member statement too today. Welcome to you. The, the Honourable, the member for Harbour, Maine. Mr. Speaker, as we head into another holiday season, it is important for us to remember the many blessings which we are privileged to enjoy throughout the year. Sadly, Mr. Speaker, there are many people across the province and in my district who find themselves alone or unable to provide a hot meal to themselves or their families. Thankful, Mr. Speaker, such individuals living in the town of Clarks Beach and surrounding area need not fear this type of Christmas, as every year pastors da David and Kathy Crane, son and daughter to the late to the son-in-law to John Crane, former MHA from Harbour Grace, provide free turkey dinner meals to people in the basement of the Pentecostal church in the town. Now an annual tradition for the parish, each year dozens of individuals and families join together to celebrate the magic of Christmas, regardless of religious beliefs or financial situation. Following the Christmas Eve service, volunteers from the church stay behind to help cut, peel vegetables and press for the fest. So many people would enjoy the next day. Mr. Speaker, I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to Pastors David and Kathy for their service to the community of Clark Speech and wish on and all a blessed Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Honourable Member for the District of Mount Pearl, Southlands. Mr. Speaker, it gives me great pleasure to rise in this Honourable House to recognize the accomplishments of six individuals who have given their time and talents to the sport of soccer in the city of Mount Pearl. Four of these individuals, Don Coker, Wally Lawrence, Ron O'Neill, and the late Sam Pretty, 
have been inducted into the Mount Pearl Soccer Hall of Fame in the category of Builder, Lana North Burns in the category of Player, and the late Dave Legro as an honorary life member. Soccer, like many other sports, provides tremendous benefits to our youth, not only from a health and wellness perspective, but also in providing lifelong lessons such as the value of hard work and commitment and working as part of a team. Through the tireless efforts and unwavering commitment of these Hall of Fame inductees, many young people in my community have benefited from a physical and social point of view and have gone on to be very healthy, well-rounded, and productive citizens. I would therefore ask all members of this honorable house to join me in commending these six individuals for their contribution to this great sport and in congratulating them on being inducted into the Mount Pearl Soccer Hall of Fame. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable the Member for the District of Virginia Waters, Pleasantville. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in this honorable house today to wish a very happy 103rd birthday to a man who has given over nine decades of service to the youth of our province. Major William G. Tilley joined the CLB in 1926, served in both C Company and its Naval Company before becoming Regimental Band's drum major in 1939 for some 63 consecutive years. Tied to his steps on his Plymouth Road residence as a child, he watched drummers leave the old Princess Rink and longed for the day he would lead the parade. Over these years, he has indeed led the band for thousands of miles and through many significant events. He retired from CN in 1977 and has asked, was asked to preserve the history of the CLB, which he has done meticulous, meticulously, ensuring the information is available for everyone in our province for many generations to come. Major Tilly is a mentor for thousands of young men and women who have had the pleasure of marching behind him all these years. I ask all honorable members to join me in wishing my mentor, Major William G. Tilly, a happy 103rd birthday and thanking him for his years of service. Keep the flag flying, Major Tilly. Thank you. The Honorable the Member for the District of St. John's East, Kitty Vitti. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm delighted today to congratulate an organization that has been creating positive community empowerment for the past decade. The Stellar Circle Inclusion Choir is a place of acceptance where there are no auditions and people sing for the joy of it. The choir is comprised of Stellar Circle participants, staff, and volunteers, has 35 plus members, and 100 performances under their belt. Stella's Circle has a mission to transform lives for people facing barriers to so successful inclusion in the community. The Inclusion Choir increases social connections for the members and can be a step towards engaging in other community activities. The choir's original song, Be the Change, was written this past spring with Juno award-winning singer-songwriter Amelia Curran. I was delighted to take in the screening of a video documenting the songwriting process at the St. John's International Women's Film Festival. And Music Newfoundland and Labrador recently presented the Inclusion Choir with a community award. The philosophy of the choir is that every one of us can sing when encouraged and given the opportunity. I ask all honorable members to join me in congratulating Stellar Circle staff and volunteers all choir members, and volunteer choir director Helen Murphy on the 10th anniversary of the Stellar Circle Inclusion Choir, and I encourage you to find a time to go listen to them. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.